Select a memory card. Select a file. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Alien and tonight along with... Be your son Mike and Lieutenant Rakir at your server. Obviously you should be doing the same dance. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> and welcome to our first, well, the first game, uh, not the first console stream that we've showcased, but this is going to be the first uh, console game that we will be streaming in full, through an emulator, uh, of course. Yeah, I was just saying, does it count if you use emulator? <laughs> uh, technically, this is the console version of uh, Sonic Adventure, to be more precise, the original Dreamcast version, because... As I discovered from a bit of research here and there, uh, every re-released version for PC and other consoles later sucked more and more balls. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's start a new save. I did test, test the game beforehand, I just deleted the save we had before. And well, the reason I didn't start, I didn't leave us on the uh, other screens was because uh, with their usual wait time beforehand, it would have gone into the demo sit and such. And that would yeah. have shown a few scenes with spoilers for later on. <clears throat> and, and yeah. Okay, go ahead. I suppose it is. This is indeed the music from this game. Yeah. <laughs> Rikira thought it was like a, a music AMV from, <laughs> from YouTube or something. <laughs> Yeah, you have that feel. Like you, you see some uh, thing, uh, some light from the shadow that is swept on something that is very metallic on to it. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I guess uh, this is going to be your introduction to the work of Crush Forty then, because they've been with Sonic for quite a while. I don't know exactly when they first started with the series. Might have been this game, but uh, I'm pretty sure. They, up until somewhat recently, they were still making music for Sonic games. <laughs> hey! And yeah, you can say many things about Sonic games, many things about uh, <laughs> very bad Sonic games as well, but one thing that is practically always the same is that the music is top-notch. Uh, okay. But oh yeah! yeah. <clears throat> uh, we'll be playing through all six of the campaigns, which he... Uh, or all six of the storylines, but of course, since we only have one available and more become available later, we will of course be starting with the titular Sonic. Let's get him. <laughs> uh, 
and it also lets me play around with the sidebar some more. And so we start things off immediately with a boss fight. And, well, I think I don't need to explain too much about Sonic games, but we'll want these rings as our life preservers. Wait. And, yeah, so things start simply <laughs> off. We just headbutt him with a, with a homing attack by jumping and attack, jumping again to attack it. We really want to play a Sonic game. I did not expect to see a bloody small team <laughs> firing machine guns. Yeah, this was... I'm pretty sure this game came out just about before people starting, or rather, companies starting to lean more towards uh, laser weapons to avoid uh, gun censorship and such. I yeah. guess, and it was... it was also Sega's last console. Hey, I'll play with you some other time! So I guess I have to tune down later on there when they go to the, oh, to the other consoles. Yeah. But still... <laughs> I did not expect that. It was good voice I could well on till he, they guys said, oh no. Come yeah. On, big drip. Where are you going? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, this was still made in the 90s after all, so... You can't expect yeah. triple A quality too much. And it was only impressive console even though it was top notch when it came you out you know nothing fool it's chaos the god of destruction <laughs> oh dear <laughs> but yeah Dreamcast was actually pretty good when it came out but once the other consoles came out after it shot after, it was out compete quickly. Yeah. Huh? What? What? The... Tails? Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! Uh... Tails? Now, what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> yeah, the, the game obviously shows its age with the graphics and such, uh, but yeah. uh, let's, let's just say that as dated as things are, the, the DX version of this game actually looks a lot... <laughs> Technically it is more impressive and such since it's made years and years later, but there's just so many tiny little uh, things that stack on top of each other that just... That just make it uh, just a death by a thousand cuts. Like, for one thing, 
the Sonic here at the moment, he looks rather... Uh, he looks a bit blocky, but still looks rather good. Uh, yeah. In, in the X and such, and later actually as well, he looks like he's made out of plastic. Yeah. I mean, this was from 1999. Before the landing skip. Yeah. So, for <laughs> you, that all it actually does look good. Welcome to Emerald Coast. Uh, yeah, let's head into our first stage. Emerald Coast. <laughs> okay, rescue Tails, aka get to the end of the stage. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that was supposed to launch me at another spring. Okay. Okay, we, we can defeat Badniks, which are, well, robots that Robotnik made, aka Dr. Eggman, and then we collect, can collect these animals that pop out of them, which, uh, they don't serve too much of a purpose for story or such, but you can make use of them in the Child Garden, which is a little side thing that becomes available later. <laughs> okay, you gotta keep an eye on the railing every uh, so often, or rather the lack of. Okay. But uh, yeah, one of the many things that the X version gets wrong is the lighting on many things. Like, the water here looks pretty good. In uh, the X, it looks, well, passable, would be one word for it, probably. Uh, uh, there is a video on YouTube that did a very good job comparing uh, comparing both versions of the game, or rather this version and the DX version. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link to that. It, that wasn't supposed to happen either. <laughs> I'll put a link to that video in the uh, description when this goes on onto YouTube. <laughs> And as glitchy as this may seem so far, the DX version has a lot more. Like, it is not uncommon to get to fall through the world on the uh, on-ramp there. Um. And yeah, these are checkpoints. Oh, yeah, okay. The <laughs> yeah, free the... really wants to free us from life. Yeah, I want to say, that that's an extremely huge... Killer whale. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, actually, I think we at one point put, show, uh, put uh, Sonic Adventure DX in uh, one of the Showcase Sundays. I don't think you did. Wait. Hmm. I think you planned to, but... I yeah, think you might due to technical issues. Could be. Or I just removed it because, well, I was already going. We were already going to stream it eventually, anyways. Yep. Gotta keep. Yep. What the heck? Getting called? Give me a moment on this. Going to pause the timer for a bit. All right. All right. Yeah. Thanks, you. Okay. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> seems they went. They went. Yeah, seems that they went out for uh, groceries and brought back these little uh, ice cream tubs again. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. <laughs> Which means that I have something to snack on now because, well, if we, I, if I wait until the end of the stream, it'll all have been melted by then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And yeah, the emulator that I'm using is called the Redream. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, no going in there then, it seems. Uh, yeah, one thing with 
I don't know how many Sonic games actually, but with certain Sonic games you can find different parts, or at least different layers to certain places. Like, obviously we're on the low road now. But for the most part, those don't have too much of an effect on things, only how long you spend in places. For now, all we just need to do is not fall into the water and just get to the end of the uh, of the stage. Okay. Either this, either the game doesn't support too much mouse, not mouse control, but camera control, or I forgot to set them up for the controller. Oh well, I'll see about fixing that, if that is actually something to fix, uh, next time. Oh dear. For now, just gotta keep my eye on the road forwards and keep moving forward. <laughs> Take you to panels two and three. Jump as soon as you land on a panel or outshift off. Yep, little instructions here and Again. there. Mm -hmm. It is impressive in Dreamcast. From what I remember, from what I learned, one of the reasons it uh, actually got outcompeted quickly for they they got new, they wouldn't be only able to do something like that yes. that quickly from scratch. Yeah. Because when Precision 2 was to arrive, it would be able to read DVDs you could watch. It would be the first console you could watch DVDs on and put in internet into. Yep. Hmm. So yeah. A bit sad it got out computer that quickly, but it was praised while it was up. Long time no see, huh? I'm just glad you're okay. What happened anyway? You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. That was a test run using a new prototype propulsion system. It's got a few bugs to iron out. Why not just use my plane, the Tornado? Thanks, but you gotta check out my newest power supply. Ta-da! Whoa! A Chaos Emerald! Yep. I just happened to find one of the Southern Emeralds during one of my test flights. This thing's got unlimited power, you know. So I figured, why not use it to power my plane? Supercharge! <laughs> you gotta come over to my workshop, Sonic. I've got something I've gotta show you. It's in the Mystic Ruins. The fastest way is by train. Let's go! Uh, leave it to Hills to find a source of infinite uh, energy and use it as an engine for a, <laughs> for a plane. <laughs> but yeah, uh, for people oh. who don't know, the Chaos Emeralds are basically some sort of primordial, uh, well, gems <laughs> that have like infinite power. Yeah, let's see. This is locked off. I'm still forgetting Tails is the inventor, so again. I said I grew up with, I yeah, I've this before. Apparently two Sonic series were released at the same time. One of them was very good, and one of them was very bad. But the sweet that they started to really show first, the one was horrible. <laughs> and they started to play to show the good one whenever I have to go to school. <laughs> so I said I grew up with a horrible version, which my little brother hey, liked, hey, because we're the only one he really got to yep. see. Sonic getting impatient. Yeah, you know what? Tail was only one there to be rescued. Yeah, I, I think you're. Uh, I don't know the, what the actual name of. I think made was be, like some Sonic and Friends or something. And the second one you're thinking of, I think, is typically called Sonic A Sat AM because it would be well generally shown on Saturday in the AM hour and hours, so in the morning and such. Oh, this was shown in every day morning. Yes, but I had to do this too. Yeah. Okay. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. And yeah. And, hmm. I'm trying to remember if this was... I don't think this was the first 3D Sonic. Maybe it was the first uh, fully 3D Sonic game. 
So, yeah, it's quite a jump from 2D and semi to uh, 3D to this, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's different areas that we can go through. Mostly we'll travel between Station Square and the Mystic Ruins through these, uh, yeah, through the train. Okay. Though this place could some, use some more railings here. OSHA would not be too kind on this station. <laughs> Alright, um, I learned this info about these two different Sonics and they were released at the same year from Channel Awesome, but it was before I knew about the <laughs> Red Band Sonic. Channel Awesome. Oh. Well, Yeah, Dr. Ivor Robotnik, Sonic's eternal nemesis, and also an inventor who keeps making stuff to try and kill the hedgehog, but up until now has never actually managed. <laughs> Egg Hornets. Okay. Gotta dodge the missiles. And eventually, yep. He'll do something to expose himself. Or rather, leave himself vulnerable. I don't think people would want Eggman to expose himself. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I like this rendition of Eggman for the two of you. It was a bit dirty. One was he's just gonna get away with this. mad, dull, and hideous. Another one is similar, but he had a little some air, something slightly scary about him that you could take some of the serious. Yeah, this his, one, uh, his fear factor has worn off over the years with well, how, how many times he has had his ass kicked. Yeah, no, I will say this. This version we see here is a thing that they just, they just stuck with. Hey, I'll it's where you can some somewhat time. take more serious than the, uh, older, the older edition. <laughs> they just looked so weird back then. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I, I think people typically say that they're, they prefer the Sonic Adventure 2 Eggman, the way he beha behaves and such. Well, yeah, we'll see about that because we will get to that game eventually. Well, that wasn't so hard. Aha. Oh no! Um. Oh. Come on, chaos! Time to eat. Chaos. Oh no, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? Oh yes! It's just as the stone tablets predicted! <laughs> His strength increases every time I feed him a Chaos Emerald! With all seven emeralds in him, he'll be invincible! And work for me! Together, we'll destroy Station Square! And on its ruins, I'll build Robotnik Land, the ultimate city, where I will rule it all! Come on, Chaos! Let's find another emerald, shall we? We can't let him get away with this, can we? No way, Tails. Without more emeralds, the monster can't transform. So, it's up to us to get the emeralds before Eggman does, huh? 
And there we have our main threat to follow throughout the game. Get the Emerald so that Eggman doesn't get them so he can't act enact his next uh, insane scheme. <laughs> oh dear. And I still need to remember this for 1999. <laughs> around the era when more and more games will get the better dialogue and voice acting. <laughs> I repeat, were getting, they were still hiccups. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Where to next on this? The game isn't always too clear about where to go next, but if you find that uh, red sparkle, it typically gives a good hint or an outright direction of where to go. But I think we're supposed to do something near the workshop here. Hmm. Or, hold on, there's, there's also these things here. Let's see, the windstone. It looks like a key. The design must mean something. I don't think this thing will come into use until quite a bit later. So I'm trying to remember as to what we actually need to do at the moment. Because, well, we're at the workshop where Tails wants to show us something. But he's not showing us something. So, yeah, oop. Yep. Luckily, the camera corrected itself there. Uh, yeah, this game is, of course, going to have still a good amount of jank. But just that's just from its age and the fact that it's running through an emulator. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, the, are there capture card and works with the dream cross, even? Probably. With, with, with quite a bit of work. It, it, <laughs> it's Hill's workshop should be around here somewhere. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's not the most useful thing to tell us. Uh, we didn't get to see where the hell Eggman ran off to. So what else are we supposed to do then at the moment? Of course we didn't get to see but he threw a flash bomb at us. Yep. Uh, speaking on that again, going back a bit. I, this is... <laughs> in, lately, Eggman has been made much more of a joke in recent years and such. But in this era, he is still a legitimate threat and all. Do we right. have to do, so use this anyways? Be, I, I have a joke version and a more serious version. Um, another serious version, but to be a bit of a joke version again. Yeah. Ow. Oh. Um... Okay, so maybe we have to use this thing right away anyways. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Stage 2, Windy Valley. <laughs> okay, get the Chaos Emerald before Robotnik gets to them. And... As you can see at the beginning there... Yep, Tails is actually coming along this time. <laughs> hey. Though he won't actually have much of an effect, and if we lose him, he will just pop up again. The wind is making an invisible path. Don't be afraid. Go through the gate. <laughs> yep, literally running on the air. <laughs> Wait, I just realized. Hmm? Amy's in this one? Yep, Amy's in this game as well. Oh, then she did arrive in Sweden quite late! <laughs> Dude. And... Will came over, I guess. <laughs> but actually, no. Head straight up. You should be able to get out of the tornado. <laughs> Jump on panel number one. It will take you to panel two and three. Jump as soon as you land on a panel or else you'll fall. Yep. Okay, come on, I did jump there, game. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, just repeating that in case we'd forgotten. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go. And one more. Yep, there we go. If, if I didn't <laughs> miss the landing. 
Uh, let's see, where the heck are we even compared to this? Uh, there we are. Okay. Uh, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were supposed to hit the spring there. <laughs> Again, old game being run from an emulator, so there are going to be uh, some mistakes here and there. Like, again, that. As long as we don't have any game-breaking ones. Hopefully, yeah. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Third time to charm. Nip the wall. And there we go. From my tornado to some sky islands. <laughs> and of those. <laughs> and yeah, typical, typical collectible thing. Get 100 and you get a life. What the heck? Hmm? What the heck did you use? A rocket. <laughs> Curious why the hell there's just a random rocket on a sky island? <laughs> Don't question it. <laughs> you know, I'm just more surprised with the idea of Sonic using, using a machine. <laughs> Okay, that was my bad. Okay, luckily we have the checkpoints. We do lose our rings though. Okay, just gotta keep forward pressed long enough to actually get through. Yep, and upper paths. Let's see. Yep, that gets us a shield. Yep, come on. There we go. That should attract nearby rings. If, if we don't, or it'll take a hit for us. <laughs> also works. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wait. Okay, next section. For a moment I thought it launched us all the way back to the beginning of this section or something. I don't remember something. Did it? I'm not sure if it's a post memory or not. No. Are you saying it was announced that they plan to re release a new version of Dream Course or something? Maybe. Mm. Mm. Oh. And didn't survive it, uh, though it is very obvious. And there's the emeralds. Yeah, not bad. Ooh, this thing's melting fast. Hmm? Oh. Uh, the ice cream. It's melting fast in the winter. <laughs> well, it's almost winter. Uh, all right. <laughs> Now that we have an emerald again, maybe Tails can actually show us what the hell he wanted to show. Yeah, well, can you talk to NBCs? You can, yeah. Though I don't think most have much to say. Still nothing here. Okay, I guess we'll just have to go look for the next stage then. Let's see. Ah, you there? Don't attack him, Sonic. What with the big gusts of wind inside this, that cave? I guess we'll call it Windy Cave. A simple one to the point. Oh, this is our base camp. The other party has already gone into the jungle. But we haven't heard from them in a long time. I hope they're okay. Oh, great. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. <laughs> Sonic. They, please yeah. don't tell me the city is called Station Square. 
I'm not sure if it's for the entire city, but at least a part of it is called Station Square, yeah? <laughs> we have no idea what happened. We were trying to figure out how this mountain could just appear out of nowhere. Okay. Out of hmm. nowhere? Hmm. Someone else again. Yeah, I've, I've been an explorer for two and a half years. Chaos Emerald? Sorry, never heard of it. Not very really likely we'll find it around here. Okay. There is a cave here, though. And a minecart. And... Something here. Okay, there's very obviously something there, but we don't have an ability to dig. So, well, no dice. We can take this here, though. If I can manage to maneuver into it. Oh, it worked. Yep. All right. <laughs> and here's our first of the Chow Gardens. Yep. Yeah, though, of course, there are no actual chow here because we haven't found any chow eggs. But yeah, this is basically a side thing that uh, started with this game, was continued in Sonic... Oh, there's a chow egg. Something that got continued in Sonic Adventure 2, and I don't think it was ever continued on from there. But yeah, that's a chow egg. Okay. I believe... I believe there are t generally two ways of hatching these. One of them is to just pop them open by throwing them. But let's actually just let this thing be and see if it hatches on its own. This is all just side stuff. And yeah, any any uh, wait, 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 wait. animals Go that we've rescued will get dumped. Uh, will get put out here. Uh, I'll go through that same thing that the memory is popping. I mean, over here? Yeah. This is a Dreamcast memory card. Yep. <laughs> because what we can use mean, these to send the uh, chows to other save slots. Yeah, I would say... I kind of like the idea of those kind of... Is, is, like... Yeah, he, he, Dreamcast definitely had the most advanced memory cards back in the day. Game is saving, and off we go. Okay, now we know what's over here, so we don't have to go looking around <clears throat> this area anymore. That will probably be for something later, or for a different character. So for now, we'll have to continue looking around, maybe even go back to Station Square to see if anything has changed over there. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Okay. You gotta be a bit careful with stairs and such, especially when there's no railings, because uh, Sonic, he, he stops a lot slower than you'd think he might. He doesn't yeah. stop on a I dime. Should have, uh, I should probably clarify this. I never owned a Dreamcast. First time I ever heard of a Dreamcast is when I, long, long ago, looked up about the Soul Calibur games. I realized, I wonder always, why there's a Soul Edge and Soul Calibur 2, but no Soul Calibur 1? And then I realized, oh, it was on Dreamcast, the first Soul Calibur one. Again. Okay. Well, of course, I then had never heard of. That's a really pretty at night. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to learn about it, start learning about it in this year a bit more. Okay. Let's see, got anything to say, Sparkler? There's a place somewhere in the city where you can go down into the sewer. Uh, <laughs> few CVs, uh, sewer counter. Ebert! <laughs> I lost the mighty go. Let's see, it's so much bigger than my hometown. Talk about culture shock. <laughs> They're going inside. I hate sunsets. Okay, I'm guessing that relates to something else we could have asked them about if we'd been to here earlier and we can't go down there. 
Let's see. I own this building. Well, I'm not sure about this, but... Kids love to go on little treasure hunts. Once my son found a weird pair of shoes in the sewer. I told him to put them back. And he ran outside. Okay. How's, how's your kid getting into the sewer in the first place? It... Oh! I... You scared her! Yeah. I'm waiting for my dad. I hope he comes back soon. Is he gonna stay at the office again? Yeah, probably best that I just try to talk to people from the front, huh? Hey, I saw the coolest pair of shoes! Supposed to make you light in the air, but they're hidden in a secret spot. They'd be perfect for you, Sonic. If you can find them. Okay, yeah. Pretty big hints that we need to this. find these, huh? Let me talk. Right, so yes. They don't get clues. Today's paper says mysterious person left the manhole cover open. I hear, I hear city halls getting a ton of complaints. Sure, it stinks, but it's really dangerous. If someone falls in, yeah. <laughs> okay, the game is renting really, really strongly that we need to go find the sewers through this open sewer cover, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, my husband is an adventurer. When he leaves home, you never know when he'll, but he'll be back. He's probably at the Mystic Ruins looking for all the relics. Maybe you've met him? Now well, we got a good few candidates for him. Okay. And then over to the other part. Hello. What's up with that girl? She's been standing there all day. Just staring into the burger shop at... Sir, are you okay? Uh... <laughs> He's um, <laughs> at least the cars are not <laughs> trying to hit him. <laughs> oh, oh I, 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 I know what's going on. I know what's going on. <laughs> Does someone get grabbed by his medicine, please? Yeah, we're no, blocking no, no, his no. paws, so his path running is freaking out. No, no, he's, he's for the Ministry of Silly Walks. <laughs> uh, hello there. The manhole cover is open. We have to listen to everything the people say. It's a tough job to work at City Hall. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's why he's being wonky. It, it stinks here. Yep. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to head there. <laughs> Beeline in! <sighs> you accidentally run into it! Yep. And that is why... We, <laughs> that is why manhole covers are supposed to stay shot because well people expect them to be shot and can accidentally just head on in there and break their neck as they fall down or such okay let's see. Ah, there we go now you've got light speed shoes Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. And yep, that's the first upgrade we'll get. Right. Just charge up. Ready, go! And yep. Yeah. <laughs> Easy as that. <laughs> okay. Hello, good sir. Hey, don't use the back door. Guess what she said? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we probably just stunk up the place, but oh well. We've got a new thing, and it's become nighttime in the meantime. Also, uh, that's a statue. Uh, Oh! <laughs> yeah. like, what the heck are you doing to the guy? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I get a feeling like someone's staring at me. It's not going away. What can that be? Oh, it wasn't the staff. Hey, that's the girl. Oh, hello. Them. Okay, that, that was an emblem. We'll get we'll get one of those for every level that we finish, and we can just also find them in other places. We saw one at Mystic Ruins as well. They're basically just collectibles for completion. Now where's that girl? 
It's a hammer. Yeah, they were staring at the bur into the burger shop somewhere. Let's see. I set a new record. I got so close this time. Oh my, I'm totally in love. Oh, oh, are you the... Okay, she... Yeah, she's staring... <laughs> she's staring at uh, the worker. Owner, maybe? And hello. Oh, so I was right. Who? Oh, it sure fooled me. It's just a statue in the front of the burger shop. I hear it goes on trips sometimes, though. Oh, you were supposed to talk to her before you interrupted with the statue. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got the light speed shoes. And it's nighttime now, which is when they said that the uh, casino would be open. So let, let's avoid becoming a road. <laughs> let's be, avoid becoming roadkill, and look for the casino uh, then. Casino. Yep. Oh no. Let's see. How do we actually get there again? Not through there. We can go in here though. And there should be a few other exits. Let's see, is this one open now? Let's see. Oh, welcome to the casino! Yep. <laughs> okay, this way then. All right. The Come on. Train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Yeah, yeah. And then this connects back over here to this train station. Let's see. Rah. My mom went into the casino, but hasn't come out yet. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Parent up the bloody year. Let's see. Is there anything hidden ar around here? Nope. Just an alleyway. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> wow. Neon lights, great music. So this is the casino that everyone's been talking about. <laughs> Wonder what that switch over uh, is over the sign. They always get the urge to press things like that. <laughs> that that's just an in, that's just something innate to humanity. Huh? If, it, if there's a big red button, you want to press it. <laughs> Casinopolis is open, but the only way in is closed. Sorry. But, okay, what? that's gonna be bad for business. I was a casino op the casino polis? Yep. Wait, really? <laughs> uh. And that's how we open it up. And also yeah. here I'm gonna laugh. I'll say the word rebutton meme and you some it up actually become reverse. If I see a red button, I will hesitate about pressing it. <laughs> Let's see. Store your rings in the vaults. Try to save at least 400 rings in the vault. Yeah, this is <laughs> the casino level where, well, the the, em the the Chaos Emerald is rather within reach, only um, it's a bit high up. So, yeah, we need to go grab a bunch of rings to fill this thing up with, Scrooge McDuck style. So we can actually get to it. Try and deposit as many rings as you can. It may even help show you the way. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> so yeah, let's see. Card bin have pinball course ahead. Use the LNR buttons to move the flippers. If you get a match with the cards, aim toward the arrow. If you miss three times, you will return to this hall. Remember, if you have it have less than 100 rings. You will get dumped into the garbage. <laughs> um, I think we're getting a bit of. Why am I getting hell of a hell of a boss feel from watching that? <laughs> okay. This, this really reminds me so really about Blitz's uh, brother. <laughs> oh, that's how the character looks like. Hey, all right. Now it does not... Oh, okay, maybe a little? Yeah, th this entire thing is a reference to Nights into Dreams, which is another Sega thing, or a Sega franchise. 
And yeah, the main character is uh, very much a jester of sorts. Oh! Yeah, I think I've seen them, but... I did not think it was a franchise. Uh, I always forgot about it. Okay, we're getting rings from this, slowly but surely. And if I've sucked less at pinball, we might actually get a good amount of this. Uh, and I believe we can get more rings quicker if we just manage to grab those cards and get good combinations of them. Okay. Actually, yeah, I mean, the only reason I recognize this is I may have, as a kid, while we're looking for games, just walked past this one a few times. One pair. And I've got his. Yeah, that have got us a decent amount of room. Not runes, rings. <laughs> okay. And there was no way to catch the. Um, I'm not sure why that's being okay. acted as a. Okay, why is that acting as if I'm clicking with the mouse? Okay, moving that aside then. And yeah, less than 100 rings, so we got dumped into the garbage. <laughs> Uh. Okay. <clears throat> there and there. Get rid of those. And yeah. If, if let's not touch that. That's very clearly an explosive and probably not in our best interest. And there I go. A bunch of the rings that we collected. Well, back to square one, huh? Yeah, damn it. Back to square one again. Okay. I'm for disciplinary actions. Yeah. Okay. Wait, I'm pretty sure the only way you can actually lose rings in this area is to, well, get hit by the badniks and such. Other than that, uh, you can't lose rings in the, gam uh, in the games, I believe. So this is quite the sewer system for uh, <coughs> for a place like this. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. The heck did we run, run into there? <coughs> but yeah, this was one of the areas that were was used to showcase the differences between this game and the DX version, as in. One problem that the DX version has overall is that everything gets lit up way too much. Like the, like an overdeveloped photo of sorts. Like everything is too bright because this comes across as a bit dank and dark and such. In the DX version, it's lit up like there's a spotlight on everything. Oh, you mean Nintendo DX? No, no. Oh, oh, oh damn it. <laughs> The Ad Sonic Adventure DX version, and there go all the rings again. Okay, wait, what does, what, what does this DX stand for? Deluxe. <laughs> Though the, oh. ac the actual first, the actual full, uh, the actual full title of the game is Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cuts. Though, if, yeah, we need this after the sewer. <laughs> uh, Don't travel with your boots on. Yeah, there isn't actually too much extra that's get, that got added into the game, to my knowledge. Like, there was a, a cameo by Cream the Rabbit, but beyond that, uh, not much else that got actively added into me calling it a director's cut. Let's see. Anything else that we can do here? Slot pinball. Let's, uh, use the LNR. Match three pictures in a row and shoot the ball towards the arrow. Yeah, basically the same. Yeah, you don't actually gamble in this level. It's just pinball with cards. Now I'm actively curious if there's actually a... Uh, there probably is at least one Yu-Gi-Oh! based pinball table somewhere. <laughs> In this game, or...? Uh, just in general. In existence. Ah. 
maybe? <laughs> okay. Ronaldo, more pinball. Not the most entertaining thing, but it's... Things could be a lot worse than this. Yeah, but it is... I guess you call it a... Is it a very classic console? <laughs> classic game? Not pinball in general? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like there's uh, one of my friends, Xterra, he is quite a bit of a whiz uh, and he is quite knowledgeable and quite a, a fan of pinball machines and such. So he would be able to explain a lot more about that. But yeah, pinball machines are a lot older than people think because there were some back in the day. They also used to be fully mechanical and not just uh, elec electric as most people know them now. Oop. Going for a ride. Ah, too bad. We could have gotten quite a lot of rings from that, I think. Oh, uh, well. Yep. <laughs> Straight down the gutter. Okay. Yeah, th those lights in the upper left, they turn around or they change if we... Uh if we move the flippers, so we can use that to influence things a bit. And yeah, something got launched out of the left gutter there due to a saving thing. I don't know if it... Almost. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I just now realize it's yep. not the ping pong ball you're throwing about. <laughs> nope, it's Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> What? It's what a good has thing. Sonic ever done you to the service? <laughs> but he went into this willingly. Plus, with the way he spins all the time, it's not like he is going to have a. <clears throat> it's not like he is, has a, a weakness for throwing up from motion sickness or something. Yeah, missed again. Okay, at least we have more than 100 rings, so no matter how this is going to end, we are going to have an easier way out. Yep. In there again you go. And yeah, personally I don't have much experience with uh, pinball tables. Ooh. Damn it. My eyes! What? Did you see something that could be a ellipse warning? <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll need to double check on that again. Let me make yeah, a quick it, note. Where's the paper? Yeah, when he flew through the yeah. tunnel thing, it was very flashy. And it hurt my eyes for a moment. Okay, again, I'll, do, I'll try and do something about that to tone it down some. Yeah, again, I don't have ellipticity, but flashing light. A bright light does annoy my eyes. Yeah. Okay. Now, before we do anything else, let's actually go deposit these. So we have no chance at all of losing them. And, well... <laughs> uh, they're not too uh, soft with that. <laughs> Okay, I'll definitely, I'll definitely need to change something about the flip, about the uh, triggers and the mouse interactions because that could accidentally open up something on the sides. Uh, let's see, what's this? Let's see, this is the shower room. You can wash yourself off. <laughs> okay. Yep. No case in points. Something can get opened on accident. How the heck did that even get open? Okay. Um. Yep. Wait. That oh wait. Is I, a concern. I think I know what's what's going on. I accidentally clicked on one of the icons on my you know, screen and met the with the control stick managed to move it around to something. Okay. What the heck is getting selected? Hmm. Let's see. Maybe if I just click into the... Yeah, into, if I click into the game, it's not going to do anything much more. 
let's have another go at this one. Now, yeah, I'll need to I'll need to reconfigure things a bit again. <clears throat> okay. You... Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, oh, double come on! Okay. Oh, yeah, at least nothing of uh, value was showcased during any of that. Only just a folder that I keep on <clears throat> open for, yeah, just single player and multiplayer games that I don't keep the icons on the main monitor for. We'll say to send this, censor those out just in case. Okay. Let's see. Oop. One pair. Okay, this was the extra area that we were told to keep an eye on. Where we can get a lot more of cards real quick. Okay. One pet. Yeah, actually, I thought, I think that it was supposed to be, that was three of a kind, but there will. Hmm. Actually, no, we got one card new there. there so. ne never mind. <laughs> Going to take this opportunity to take another bite. Yeah. Just in time. Let's see, that's the girl and Reala. As well as Poppy, which I believe I believe is a boss in the game. Okay, so, so it does recognize three of the kinds. Okay. They've gotta keep an eye on Sonic. Nope. Okay, no, I suppose it was supposed to go that way. Nope. Or maybe it is. <clears throat> Anyways, we need some 300 more... Uh, you know, 233-ish rings. So if we, can, if we can stay in here for a while, it should help speed things up somewhat. Since we get rings for pairs and such, I believe. Two pair. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Back into here again. Another time for me to take a quick bite. Yeah, personally, I have no experience with the Knights uh, in Dreams, uh, or the Knights uh, series myself. But I, from what I have heard, the games were quite enjoyable. Certainly atypical, but enjoyable all the same. Hmm? Uh, again, I didn't know it was a franchise, but I, heard, I never heard anyone talk about that in any way. All yeah. they do is walk it. In a store. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it is a series that is quite dead by this point. Up, yeah. out we go. Another pair. <clears throat> yeah, one way to uh, describe the night series would be like a. Uh, if Superman 64 was actually done competently and more of a 2D thing. Not that the game themselves were 2D, but you were moving around more in a 2D uh, world. <clears throat> I need to look it up, I guess. But I'm curious. <laughs> okay. I don't know, maybe it's like this dream material. <laughs> maybe. Mm. I'm not too sure about that myself. Oh, and we have almost enough rings. So just a few more. And we can actually just let it <laughs> let the game end. Okay. And yeah, let's let's let it end here. 
because we should have enough to stash 400 and go <laughs> straight into there. Okay, one more fly around. I think there was a rumor of sorts. <clears throat> At one point, that uh, Knights was supposed to be playable in uh, some. Playable if you got a high enough score on this board or something. <clears throat> Hello there, Lazarus! Hey, Lazarus, uh, if, it isn't the best, <laughs> if, it, if it isn't the best music game, also hi. <laughs> How are you doing, Lazarus? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're, playing the, go ahead. <clears throat> we're playing the original Sonic Adventures through an emulator. And the, <laughs> the emulator is not fully agreeing with my computer, or at least the controls think they <laughs> apply to the mouse every so often. Yep, like that again. Okay. Okay. But yeah, now that now we can actually get up here and get the emerald. Yeah, I feel really you're gonna need to censor those out. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I'll I'll take a look for that anyways. But I think at the most it just showed the, the shortcuts to some other games I've installed, of which I have more than <laughs> more than too many. So I should trim that down at some point. And let's see, Lashris. I was about to say this looks like the Dreamcast version. Nice. Motherfucker ambushes us again with this. Oh man, what happened to that emerald we just had? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them, but the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic, we need to get busy. And apparently, Sonic is wearing his Air Jordans because he's floating up. He was floating off the air ground. <laughs> uh, let's see, Lashris. Okay, so you have Sonic and Tails right there asleep. Why did you not just shoot their faces off? <laughs> <laughs> Good point, but uh, Eggman never did think things through too far. At least. No, actually, more that he would get uh, a bit too uh, a bit too tunnel visioned on things. And let's see, the ice stone looks like a key. Maybe I can use it in the Mystic Ruins. So let's bring this over then. <laughs> uh, let's see, Lazarus. Uh, he does things things through, yeah, fairly fair. But yeah, tunnel vision definitely applies at times. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, by the way, Lazarus? Hope you're having a good day. <clears throat> and just random explosion. <laughs> Let's see, sleepy but otherwise but decent enough. Cheers. Now about you two, doing well, and having sleep issues, but working on fixing that slowly, ever so slowly but surely. Yeah, I'm doing well as well. I think I'm having a lot of fun with Agent One is Four. Hello there. The rocks crumbled and revealed an entrance to a cave. The soul seems a lot like the soil from Mystic Ruins. Okay. It's the soul. Yeah, the soil. Soil. Time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. And here's where this one is for. Okay. So here we will have our next stage. Okay, just a dead freeze right behind the door. Better get out of that before he freezes to die to death. 
Stage four, ice cap. Okay. Even if you're frozen, jump a couple of times and you should be able to crack through. Wait. What's that thing? What's that thing doing the Russian doll thing but there were multiple inside of it? Okay. But yeah. Let's see, moving on. Do you have to say? Okay. Uh, yeah, something you'll probably like to hear, Lazarus, is that I am planning on playing a decent amount of the Sonic games. At least Sonic Adventure 2 and Heroes as well. Uh, let's see, can we get up here? Nope. Not so much, it seems. As well as the Sonic Rush games, eventually. I'm not going to play too many of these all after each other. Because I do plan to do a few Star Wars games in between. Let's see. It's all it takes, yeah? <laughs> okay, this way. Yeah, so solid ice picks will be good here. <laughs> Wrong way. And immediately, uh, immediately fall right on top of a bad neck. <laughs> okay. Uh, why? There. Let's see. Okay. I'll read that in a sec. So, I can read it. Lazarus. Says also a quick note: the game is a bit loud compared to you two. Okay, I had a bit of a suspicion on that. Uh, let me see if I drop it by three decibels or so. Uh, that will mean that I'll have to edit the previous parts down a bit. Let's see, one fifteen. Uh, resume. Okay, that better. I don't know, it's actually better even on my end. Mm. I thought it was meant to be that loud for a moment, uh, for a while. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that, you know, yeah, I'm pretty sure the audio level that I'm hearing what, and what the stream hears are typically j you know, rather different. It, wrong way. Yeah. And I need to also remember, I always have my sound setting, at least for the streams, hauled down. Yeah. Because I can hear helium better. Okay, better. I. Okay. I'll, I'll still double check things uh, in the recording afterwards and adjust things as needed. But, yeah, the audio balancing is just that one eternal uh, nemesis of every streamer, huh? Like, either your audio is too soft or it's too loud. No, it's for every streamer and YouTuber. Let's see, could I actually stand to drop it a tiny bit more, but you're about to hit the snowboard section and that it cannot be silenced by law. Okay, I'll drop it another decibel. There, come on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and on we go. <laughs> hmm. Just happen to be a snowboard there. You... <laughs> it's a, it's the Sonic World. <laughs> the basic rule with the Sonic World is don't question it. <laughs> yeah, especially the snowboard have himself on it. <laughs> Damn it! Ooh, I actually managed to get away there. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't read chat for a bit, so can you <laughs> read it out, uh, dear? All right. Let's say from Lazarus. It could be best music. It's so ugly. This guy's moose is a one. Yep. I guess the name. Yep, 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 um, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apparently what? my mouse is still fucking around on the on the background. Oh, <laughs> it played a video? <laughs> yeah, that, that was a clip that I'd gotten uh, but to cut down for a joke. Uh, hello. <laughs> that was uh, footage from Nook, you know, the Nuketown tests. Okay. <laughs> right, let's see, I gotta finish reading here. Oh, in fact, this track title is Be Cool, Be Wild, and Be Groovy. Name six out. <laughs> yeah, dude. And we'll let her play a random video file. <laughs> yeah. I will say this if you can't get control over that part, I am. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to move this spend. back to uh, the keyboard and mouse. Yeah. Um, uh, I... And if it somehow gets worse. Yeah, I gotta just do that. Out, oh, I would be very sad if we will have to abandon it due to technical. Difficulties. Yes. Let's see. Sonic Adventure One soundtrack uses trumpet, sax, etc. to such great effect. Happy music noises. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> yeah, we, we we talked about this a bit uh, earlier, but basically every Sonic game, no matter how shit the gameplay might be, has good music. <laughs> Okay, that's another emerald in hand. Two to two. Three to go. Because there's seven in total. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's one exception there. No. And what's over this way? The closed door is over this way. Uh, let me see. Trust me when I say this, Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. I actually played that and reasonably enjoyed it myself, but now that you mention it, I don't remember any of the music from that. Uh, Not at all. <laughs> and it's... And a pit. Mm -mm. Okay, from Lazarus, the soundtrack cannot truly be called music, more torture. Okay, someone certainly doesn't like it. Let's see. Who was that with the long arms and red body? I think he was right towards the waterfall. No? Eggman? Yep, nope, it's Knuckles. Knuckles Sandwich. Bugging you? No time for games, Sonic. Give me the emeralds you have right now. <laughs> what? Let's just see you take them. Huh. <laughs> and yeah, time for the ultimate meme sound effects. Oh no. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did that? Oh no. Okay, I didn't lose my rings, though. Uh, uh, obviously, this, the... The... The uh, animation where he talk is a bit of a hit oh, no. and miss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh no! The Chaos Emeralds! <laughs> Like taking candy from a baby. That's a chaos emerald. You specifically were asking about those. You made it all too easy. You practically gave them to me. 
Hold it right there, creep! You can't get away with this! Knuckles, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again! Me? What about you? Way to go, Knucklehead! Now, I have four lovely emeralds! Chaos! Robotnik totally not fondling the em emeralds. <laughs> the way he's rubbing them. <laughs> and he's grown already since last These time. For you, my friend. Cuts us any slack. <laughs> and yeah, voice, <laughs> Robotnik's voice is, <laughs> is really fun in this. And another boss fight. Get out of the water. Okay. Yeah, we're slowed in the water. And thus a lot more vulnerable. Yep. Uh, oh, he was wrong roll there. But of course, he's going to mess with the lily path, so we can <laughs> avoid that. I forgot if headshots can swim or not. Hmm. I think they actually can. Somewhat. Yeah, like, they, they probably don't want to uh, swim over the lake. But it's probably more for short distances. Yeah. Mm, though the water could get stuck between their spines and weigh them down a lot, probably. Yeah, so you would have to be a lot, preferably a shallow and very, very short distance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. new attack. It could probably touch you a small stream and such, but... Or, well, you know, a spring. You know, mm. those you just can step over. As a person, but a lake? No, definitely no. It would and just be uh, too big, just by their size. Yeah, and my bigger streams are not just no. Like it, it would probably need to be a small ring. I think it's called. Uh, you know, again, like uh, you, 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 a person like you, me, you just can step over it to get to the other side or a small okay. jump. Oh, he's doing another attack. Let's keep moving. Good, good, come on. Um, need one more hit. Okay, just barely dodged that. Okay, come on, show your pretty little face. Come on, Chaos. You there we go. Fish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised I never got hurt. <laughs> never got hit during any of that. <laughs> also, Sonic, you might want to rush back to shore. Because Sonic is not the greatest swimmer. Scotty. <laughs> I honestly would not be surprised if he put the robot in charge of <laughs> the robot can made Scotty in charge of that. Let's get to my workshop and we'll take the tornado. Yeah. You guys go. Okay. I have some unfinished business to take care of. 
No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Come on! Let's get going! And yeah, now Knuckles is available for play. But we'll keep going through these one by one. And yeah, Lashra's best ship. Sorry, but no contest this is easily the best flying fortress base Robotnik's ever had. I gotta agree with that. I really liked the I I really like the uh, the egg carrier's design and everything. <laughs> Sonic, wait here for a second. Bro, I keep forgetting if Sonic Adventure DX or Heroes was my first ever Sonic game. I I just do not know which of those I played first. Yeah, my first ones were older than this. No 2D. <laughs> Tails getting to play out his uh, Thunderbirds fantasy. Not exactly in Sonic. <laughs> um, I feel like so much you have installed an extra seat. <laughs> okay, and now we get to <laughs> the flying section. Oh, they, 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 here we fly a I mean, a slightly old school propeller plate against that. A massive helicarrier. Because I'm trying to follow A massive helicarrier, like uh, the helicarriers from uh, Marvel, it shields his home base or aerial base. I'm honestly curious how much of that might have helped inspire the egg carrier here. Oh, you innocent little old Dutchman. <laughs> it's a messy trope, this. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, there's many it... shows that have these damn things as a flying base. So, yeah, it could be a chance to be out of who stopped the uh, flying base trope. Okay, one thing that I'll, one thing that, puts, you know, that adds on to why I like the egg carrier is that we actually get this, well, interact with it quite a lot. Just by flying around it, and we will get on board it eventually. Yeah, like I mean, it has a very damn good design. Yeah, the thing is, the thing is practically a flying city. Or at least a few city blocks. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't actually need to shoot down any of these. We just need to survive. We just need to avoid them and avoid the projectiles that get shot at us. Wait, I just realized that tails. You use some of the machine gun. Yep. Uh, you might have won a celebrate too quickly. <laughs> Less than 30% hits, but okay. <laughs> yeah, what was that I said about celebrating too early? <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's just a bit of something. Let's see. I also love the touches on the, on it that make it come across as not just a fortress, but some kind of home. Hence the swimming pool, game room, bedroom, study, etc. Tails? Tails? 
Sonic doing his best ostrich impression. You're not who I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he's okay. <laughs> well, seeing as he is the <laughs> He can actually fly. He probably had a safer landing than you did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello there. Oh no, I'm so embarrassed. Oh. La la la, we're in love. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's kind of cute. Yes. I'm the hotel manager. Call me if you need anything. By the way, a girl with pink hair came here and headed towards the casino. And it looked like someone was chasing after her. No? Might as well check it out. Sonic, wait up! Amy! Long time no see! Uh, uh, Amy! What's wrong with you anyway? Listen, this birdie seems to be in trouble, so you need to be his bodyguard for a while. You must be kidding! If you don't, we're just gonna tag along anyway! And now Amy's playable. <laughs> I would play really like it from this. No, it was just a game, or at least the emulator no loading in for a bit. Ah, uh, alright. Let's see. Oh no. As soon as the sun sets, I just automatically head this way. It's not my fault. My feet have a mind of their own. Uh, so <laughs> you're the parent from earlier who was gambling in the night away? Someone has a bit of an addiction. My mom wandered into the casino again. Okay, probably best to stay away from that. But yeah, it was either this game or Heroes where I first got introduced to Amy. And uh, yeah, in this era of Sonic games, she is <laughs> a bit deeper into her obsession with uh, Sonic. <laughs> yeah, someone's <laughs> a bit of a very neglectful mom, Lazarus. <laughs> Let's see, station's yeah, closed. I it's it kind of a bit of a crime to do that, but she did. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I became Psycho Stalker Girl at this uh, point. I'm glad they managed to actually nuance her a bit uh, nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> she basically just started off as a fangirl who got kidnapped by a Robotnik. And is Grandpa going to... No, Grandpa took his meds this time. Or his meds this time. And we're not diving into the sewers again. <laughs> and let's be honest. It was not wrong this, this year 99 and 2000. But people were actually just tired of that trope of character where they had a girl or boy that were basically stalkers. Yeah. Yes, people were tired and also... Freaked out. It's at this place again. You could say they stopped, stopped being funny long ago. Yeah. Just uncomfortable. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Did you just. Maybe. Uh, it's over here that we need to be, I believe. Junk of cheesy hardware. Whoa! Oh, now what? Huh? Look here! It says, You cup getting free! Let's go! <laughs> Amy! Uh, w -w -w wait! Oh, man! That girl is such a pain. <laughs> and danger completely forgotten. Yeah, Amy can be very single-minded. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's see, Lazarus. 
Uh, though in fairness, Sonic Adventure 1, Amy does have a bit more to her than just Psycho Stalker Girl. It became worse as it went along. Yeah. It... Yeah, I, I guess I think I heard mentions that that community actually hated her for a while. Let's see. Accelerator A. Collect the rings, increase uh, uh, collecting the rings increases bumper car acceleration. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Also, whoever composed Amy's theme was both phenomenal and a bit mental. The lyrics to that track are very concerning. Yeah. You, you could have said that before they hit and run me. Okay, guess we're getting the black one. Up <laughs> now. I kind of wanted the orange one, but oh well. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. If there's one thing you definitely can say about this game is that it does, it, uh, it doesn't uh, stick with one thing for too long to become boring. Oh, come on. Oh, so the, that was actually not a bad thing, and that's an extra life. Not that we're short on those. Bump, bump, and boom. Oh yeah, I had a bit of a light spark there again. Uh, and then the yellow dot up here, for a short noise. I don't really know if that's on my end, uh, of people watching Netflix downstairs or something, or if uh, this could have sometimes issue keeping track of the game. I think it might be Discords. Hmm? Okay, it's been a, it's been quite a while since I've done anything like go karting. Then again, I typically end up a bit bruised from go karting. Uh, wait, what? You <laughs> full speed ahead. <laughs> wait, you put the first one I ever heard get you bruised from go karts. Beside characters in cartoons and the movies and such. Yeah, I guess it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Completely missed. I, yeah, I guess it. I it, it guess it parts. It depends in part on the uh, size of the go kart and such. Because I've never typically fit well in the ones that have been typically available at the place we'd usually go go karting. Uh, are they big or something? Yeah, too big. Yeah, or more, maybe more that I'm too slender or something for it. Yep. Can we do that again? Yep. Oh, <laughs> they removed the pin. <laughs> the, the pin split. Okay. Give me some of those back, please. Okay. There and then over here. Okay, we'll see plenty of this level other times because we'll be going through most of these levels with the other characters as well. You, you just, you just caught a miniature flying elephant. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. Ooh. Okay, managed to thread the needle there a bit. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> and let's not fall out. That's a series we may come to some other time. <laughs> okay. There's something that a lot of people often misunderstand about the Sonic games is that it's not, uh, it's not only about going to other places fast. There's also all well, the platforming parts about it and everything. Even in the original, there were some levels where you just could not take, you know, take things quickly, or you would end up falling <laughs> to your doom. Yeah, timing and everything. <laughs> well, not falling to my doom this time, but 
quite a bit back, I think. Okay, let's try and take the high road this time. Yeah, I guess you could say a, a bit a bit of a be fast, but not too fast. Thank you. Like there? Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. Oh, come on. Freaking monkey. Give me the kangaroo. Or a rabbit, or whatever that is supposed to be. I did not have a chance to see it. Anything over this way, maybe? Okay, so, uh, that's from a different path. Uh, okay. Let's see. There's a lot to be said about you know, for learning the levels, I. Yeah. There yeah, definitely a lot of people also. But, yeah, come on! <laughs> I believe there is still quite a scene for speedrunning these games and everything. Let's just get all ahead. Oh, um, okay. uh, speedrunners for so that that, that that kind of feels like a joke. Let's see, last year I followed various Sonic speedrunners, in fact. Okay. Oh, gee, God. Now, personally, I'm not so much into the speedrunning scene itself. Like, I do find it somewhat interesting, but I have little interest in trying to run a game... I've uh, like, trying to run a game dozens upon dozens of times to try and get through it faster and faster. I, I would be, at the best, we could I could be called very... Casual with that. Okay, at least we're in a different part. Okay, still backwards though. <clears throat> okay, that was bound to happen sooner or later. Third time's not the charm in this case. <laughs> Wait, what? But that's the third time we have to pass those, and oh, no, <laughs> of course no, no, the no, third no, time no. is gonna get smacked. Oh, but Lazarus just wrote. Let's see, so you're a bit slow. <laughs> I guess. Oh, wait, there, there, there's something before that. Yeah, let's see, for giggles, when it came to Sonic Story and Sonic Adventure, the current speed... Well, well, yeah, the current world record is 27 minutes 19. Is that with or without glitches? I'm presuming with. Uh, come on! Yeah, that's the way not interested in speedrunners most of the time for if you read the game by abusing glitches then yeah sorry i would not respect uh, that now let's see with glitches okay makes sense since i'm pretty sure this game already has like 20 minutes of cutscenes for each character okay i'm a bit um... I do find it curious how games can be broken sometimes. But again, I don't have the patience for trying to think of whatever ways a game could be broken myself. So I'm much more of a spectator with uh, speedrunning and such. Okay. Now let's try this again. <laughs> Well, so there's also a bit of a feeling I have that if I were to know a game so well as to be able to pick everything about it apart, that it would hurt my enjoyment of just playing the game normally. Yeah. Okay, where are we to go with this? Let's not fall off. There we go. And apparently there was a, hit, a life hidden behind us on those platforms. Uh, let's see. I don't fully agree. Glitch execution can be incredibly impressive and skillful as well. Yeah, and often, <laughs> just as often it can be really skillful, but also really random based. Because some glitches just do not work at certain times. Or worse, they break the save. Yeah, yeah that as well. I, I saw a video recently, quite a long one, about the history of speedrunning with Indiana Jones and the Inferno Machine. And some of the shit they could pull off with that was hilarious. Welcome to Twinkle Park. Oh, shoot! I've lost Amy!
I bet that robot hauled butt after her. I'd better catch her before it does. <clears throat> what? 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 Old butt? Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised they were able to get away with that. Nope, card. Uh, let's see, and there are great, plenty of glitches categories as well. I remember the Final Fantasy VI speedrun at GDQ some time ago. Finished an entire Final Fantasy in about 30 minutes. Sure, why not? Yeah, I, I do get that there that people do get enjoyment just from seeing how much they can uh, squeeze out of a game like that. I would just not find it too interesting myself, or better said, it, it's not that I wouldn't find it interesting, I just wouldn't have the patience for it. <laughs> I, I end up smashing half of my furniture if I tried to speedrun something to even a competent level. I, I just wanna, must I say, I always wanna take my time to enjoy the story and the game, not rush it. Let's see, where did that card get dropped? Over here? Yes, over here. Let me see. Come on, you can There we go. An employee card. I can use this to get into that building. Uh, let's see. Last risk. Level of execution required is insane. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be a speedrunner myself either. I have a patience threshold negative several seconds. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on. That's an employee card. Yeah. Over here. Why is it so huge? So you can't lose it easily? Speed Jesus. Highway? Did lose it easily. Someone lost it easily. Well, again, I don't know, I was kind of starting to get up to blow my nose. I just started standing and talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would probably say that this is one of my favorite uh, tracks in the game. You mean music track or run track? Yeah, music. Alright. Yeah. Oh, great. I keep bumping no, around every place. <laughs> Come on, Sonic, keep moving forwards. Okay, it, it, it's both a bit funny and irritating at times of how easily Sonic can just stick to the ceilings. Hey, platforming. Yep. I'm surprised how you almost missing every single ring. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the uh, uh, camera. I think the very first Sonic game I ever played might have been Sonic R. Which is quite the introduction to a series. <laughs> because that's a full-on racing game and not a good one either. Because, well, just bad, just re Games did a Just Bad Games uh, episode on it. Grab onto the helicopter. You should be able to go on further. Beware the propellers are dangerous. Be careful. It's a very chrome helicopter. <laughs> okay, just keep moving forward and don't fall off. <laughs> okay, that was mostly luck, I'd say. Let's get one. Yep, and skip the another end. <laughs> Life app. <laughs> of course, we get run over for that. <laughs> yeah, I thought they would. I thought they actually threw themselves off the roof for that, but no, they can hover. Yeah, this is pretty much one of the signature scenes from this game. Uh... <laughs> uh, 
Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here before all of that glass rains down on us. <laughs> yeah, don't stand in glass ray. That's rather painful. Okay. There. And there. Let's see, where does that bring us? Over here. Then I can't keep the momentum to get up and stay up there. But yeah, with Sonic games, there are just so many paths you can often take to get through an area. Okay, and another capsule of creatures. Freed. Yep. For some reason, Eggman really likes to keep critters in these things. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Okay. <clears throat> Another level done, but no further emeralds, uh, emeralds found. At least he's not using those machines that turns animal people into robots. Yeah, that's from said AM. Let's see. This is, the, <clears throat> is the first time I've seen the train workers go on strike. It's a pain for everybody. How can they do this? Well, maybe you would. <laughs> maybe it'd be better to blame the company for not paying them well. <laughs> also, since we're in the area, it, come on. <laughs> there we go. Yeet. <laughs> People just like messing with that thing. In the DX version, at least, or I don't know. If, I don't know if it's in this version or only the DX version. But in either of them, there's a bunch of challenges that you can do for other emblems, and a lot of them are actually just screwing around with that thing. Like bring it from one place to another, find it, etc., etc. I hope the train start up again soon. I know my dad wants to come home as soon as he can. Yeah, yeah right, because he's at the Mist of Ruins and still stuck there. Okay. Have to find Amy. She should still be in this city. Okay. Hmm. We've searched back there. We've, yeah, we've looked back there. She's not here. So we see the casino area again. Let's see, because she has Big Green chasing after her. Amy? Oh man, where can she be? Ah! Sonic! Help! I'll cut him off at the Mystic Ruins! What the heck? Well, we know where she is and where we're going. And the strike is over, magically. <laughs> Perfect timing, huh? <laughs> Though Sonic actually probably would be faster if he just ran down the, the rails himself. Then again, he could get himself electrocuted that way. So a good thing to Let not. Go, you hump and jump. I mean it. Hey there, bull brain. You better give Amy to me or I'll squash ya. Hey, what's happening here? Hey, <laughs> that's what's uh, happening. <laughs> Stop! Sonic, help me! Shoot, I lost her again. Okay, let's see. Lazarus, right. Gotta drop AFK for a bit. Good luck with the Sonic Adventure. Thanks, Lazarus. And... Yep, thank yeah. you! <laughs> uh, see you again if you don't return before we manage to... Before we uh, quit... Before we end the stream. 
Oh, so I just had a bit of a... I just realized something. Oh, so this door is now open. Uh, I made a Thunderbirds joke earlier with Tails, but uh, Robotnik has also had his time with ro <laughs> with uh, very uh, Thunderbirds like robots. Like in <laughs> in the show Sonic X, I'm pretty sure that at least two of the robots there were practically direct ripoffs from the Thunderbirds. <laughs> I, I would say his space is airship looks very Thunderbird esque. <laughs> Let's see. Did you see that flying battleship? That was cool. I wonder who made it. It flew off towards the mountains. I wonder if I should have followed it. So, this is Angel Island. <laughs> okay, and Sonic's talking about this here. Angel Island, which is Knuckles' home. And up here... We have the Master Emeralds, which, well, is the master part of uh, the, the Chaos Emeralds, so uh, there's a bit of a chunk missing. Oh, yeah. What's not the Master yet? <laughs> uh, that'll come into a. Uh, that'll become prominent some other time. For now, we should keep chasing after the Egg Carrier. Hello. What's this? This is the ancient light. Try the light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light speed attack. Okay. Not sure if I've ever found that before, if it's just for this version. Actually, let's try that on the monkey here. Oh, wait, that monkey is a man. I, I thought it was one of their robots. But actually... Okay, that also works on those. Okay. <laughs> State 7, Red Mountain. Okay, that must have been part of DX as well, otherwise we wouldn't have gone through that. Okay, chase the egg carrier. Give me that. A little mole. Okay, a burb. And another miniature elephant. Fine, <laughs> elephant. Okay, that's not gonna hit. Okay, yep. There we go. Uh, let's see. Was I thinking about something and did I forget already? A <laughs> miniature gorilla? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you want to speak about uh, Taku first day or something? <laughs> no. Some rockets require you to push a switch. Switch. Almost ran into that thing. Okay. Do I see something hidden behind this? Hmm. There's a button over there. Okay, now I thought there was, I saw something directly behind the boxes, but nope. <laughs> but maybe I should keep my eyes forward. Okay, yeah, that's something I, I never liked about Sonic Games is if you yeah. hit something once, you lose all the ri rings. Yeah. Luckily, we, luckily, you only need, like, a single one to not die instantly. But, you it, it can be quite annoying to lose all of your rings. Yeah, if you just lost five or something, fine. we have more time to pick them up again. Mm -hmm. If you drop all of them, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Even if you manage to pick up all the rings that get dropped, though, it's not slipping it above a certain amount. You don't get the full amount. You, it's not the full amount of rings that you can actually pick up again. Like if you have a hundred rings, it doesn't actually drop one hundred. But that's actually part of the game pushing you to well not get hit and all. 
Nee. Oh, bye bye, little mole. Okay, one, a mole two, or a three, four. Yeah, I think it was a mole. And I guess we're not getting those animals either, except for the bird, maybe. Nope. Nope. Yep. Okay, but, but yeah, they're just extras for a little side thing. That isn't actually too interesting either. In Sonic Adventure 2, it does get improved upon. But I personally never had much interest for it myself. I will still show parts of it, but I won't go into depth about it. There are videos about that from uh, people who like it a lot more and know a lot more about it. Here we go. I'll take that. Yep. Keep your bombs for yourself, you little shit. Okay. Another monkey. Are they those are really stumpy gorillas? <laughs> yeah, e Eggman washes them before putting them into the bat next to power them. That is why he actually gets them, and they, why you actually get them out of there. And uh, he he just washes them too <laughs> too warm, and they shrink in the wash. <laughs> I don't know if you're being serious or not at this point. <laughs> And that's what makes it funny. Hip hop. Big ass spider. And speed up. No, let's stay out of the lava. <laughs> okay. Go, go, and zoop. There we go. And back to the hip hop. Yep, and we are up to. Yeah, but it's time. Okay, Amos. let's finish the level then. And then we'll call it a stream. Oh, after we I raid someone, that is. Later. <laughs> uh, yeah, the hot salsa is rising, so uh, <laughs> let's, let's get out. <laughs> Okay, good thing we have the shields. Okay. Because, yeah, if we were to end it here, we uh, would have... We would need to redo the level. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the game ha The levels have checkpoints, but you don't load back into those. <laughs> yep. Give me that. Yep, 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 get me out. Okay, up. Go to the little lion. Okay. Move, move. Spiders, bye bye. And there we go. End of level. Yes. <laughs> okay. Just <laughs> not trying to look yeah, at the bird. Herb. I think I remember something just now that might extend things on a little bit further. Yep.
Okay, Sky Chase Act 2. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Let's, to be sure, sure let's uh, get through this bit as well. Just so we don't have to redo the level. Yeah, it was only like five minutes or so. Still want to be sure about where we stop, then uh, not. Alright, so I don't need to go brush my teeth in the while. <laughs> Okay. Right. And let's try and not get shot down this time, Pails. <laughs> okay. Mm. I wonder how to wonder how he gets all of the materials to build this. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing he probably has a bunch of automated mines somewhere or something. And then it's just a case of, well, building some automated factories, and you're basically playing Factorio Eggman Edition. You know what? I would not be surprised if they made a game like that. <laughs> it would be a curious thing if they ever did make a game like that. So far, so good. Hope you know what you're doing. You bet! Yep. Transforming now. Whoa. Let's do it. <laughs> the Jetson song there. <laughs> I, I was just to say that was not a Jetson soundtrack. <sighs> uh, yeah, now the tornado. <clears throat> Is, actually, I think this is the Tornado 2. <laughs> now it's a, a jet. <laughs> it's an X-Wing. <laughs> Literally. Avoid the mines. But that literally just is it, shaped on an X. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as a, I was all surprised by the it transforming, but this thing that surprised me most was the jet stun sound effect. Yeah, just the, the arm he installed specifically to pick Sonic up, so he wouldn't get thrown off or something during it. Oh dear. But I don't think it's a jet stun soundtrack. Say for a word, it's a very old school soundtrack, but yet some definitely the ones that use it a lot. Yeah. Okay. And now a bit of a boss fight with the front cannon. Uh oh. Or the main cannon. Be out of the way when it fires. And was that that already? Yep, that was. Okay. <laughs> okay, above 28% this time. And yeah, now we get on top of the air carrier. That moved. Wow, this thing is really huge. Now you. No time to gawk now. We need to find Amy. You're right, my friend. So here we go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Uh... I hope. All right, the game auto saves. So yeah. <laughs> There we go. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah, that'll be our first stream of Sonic Adventure. <laughs> the original Dreamcast version. So, 
let me swap one over to here. There we go. And close this thing down so we can go look for someone to raid. Now, let's see. Close that down as well. Browser. Twitch. Go live. Now, let's have a look. Good amount of people online. We have Life Wolf, Tales of Vesperia. Dr. Misunderstood is online again with Yakuza. Nico is doing art. 3 Jack is playing Dead by Daylight. Clubber's the Moon Seal is... Uh, not, not Clubber's. Clubber's the Moon Seal. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, um, that, that would definitely be quite the name, huh? Clubbers the Moon Seal. Um, that, uh, yeah, that would be like Bamboo the Deer Hunter, who is actually a deer who hunts hunters. So okay. this would be a seal who clubs seal hunters? Anyway, they're playing World of Warcraft. Uh, Ramya is playing Gunfire Reborn. Kuradas is playing Le uh, not Left for Lethal Company. Codenamed Ferret is playing War Thunder. Sloop Tube with Dark Souls 3. Is, uh, <clears throat> I'm a flanker with Crusader Kings 3. Then another one with Lethal Company, Grum the Wolf. Halloween, who is continuing with Sekiro Shadows Die twice. And last but not least, we have Tear of Grace, who is playing. Oh, the, the new Avatar The Last Airbender game, I think, which was not very good, I believe. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, any of those stand out for you, or shall I take a pick? Because I'm half oh, tempted to go to Chubbers just to s tell them about the, <laughs> the slip of the tongue. Yeah, I'll let you pay for I'm I'm struggling to keep my eyes open at the moment. Okay, Chubbers it is then. <laughs> Okay, copy the name, go to our place, channel, okay, slash raid and paste, but before we start that, of course, uh, let me thank everyone who has been here today, let me check for any of our usual, uh, nope, no lurkers, okay, <clears throat> uh, yeah, thank you everyone who is watching now or later, thank you Lazarus, and thank you Drakir as always. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. And yeah, we'll be continuing with this game next week. No stream tomorrow. And yeah, we have Nefarious and Dawn of War 2 Retribution for the weekend. <clears throat> yep. Okay. So for now, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. I watch out for uh, mechanized seagulls. <laughs> Especially bad Nick Seagulls. That's why I say make nice. <laughs>